Because I've realized something about myself. There are oral learners, O-R-A-L, that learn things by hearing them. There are visual learners that learn things by seeing them. There are also visual learners that learn things by writing them down. I think that's more of a f physical learning, I guess. Somehow the writing down of their lines triggers their brain to have something to remember through the actions. So I guess maybe that's more of a tactile thing. Um, I realized that I am an oral learner from talking. What helps me learn about things, what helps me process concepts, is, is talking about them. I'll be honest, the idea of people watching me do this and sort of joining me in my journey of self-discovery, if you will, um, that really gets me going. But it's, it's actually, this is more for me, so I may not release this if I am. Thank you for watching and joining me in this journey. So Journey of a Millennial is back because I've realized sometimes I need to get myself excited or thinking about my, my life choice and where I'm at. And uh, this might be a good way to do that. So we were thinking about the bees thing, starting a company to promote er local uh, urban beekeeping. If you're into that, let me know. I can connect you with the right people. I also uh, wanted to make mead. That I might still go through. I have 10 really good looking bottles of cherry mead. And I mean good looking literally, like they're, it's cherry so it's red. Um, I take, I, you know, it was my first batch. Some of them taste good, some of them are okay. But to actually sell mead, you need to, you need to have your own honey. And there's a swimming pool beside my backyard. So I can't have bees in my backyard because swimming pools are bee death traps. And also my neighbors would hate it and they don't usually keep their pool covered. And my son and I like that because we go swim there. But I do still want to make mead. It's really fun. If you are friends with me, then next time I come over, tell me to bring some mead. If you are not, and you want to make mead, then let me know, because I, I like it. Sorry. The other thing is vlogging provides a bit of a head rush for me. Like, it's really, it's, it's just enjoyable. So, you know, it makes me giggly and easily distracted. Which is why YouTube has a feature called Video Editor, where you can cut out those parts. The parts where you zone out and shit. Where you get lost in a happy thought. And then the moments when you realize, oh, sorry, I, I have a thing I'm vlogging about, sorry.